Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of this game, Ender Lilies. So, last time we left off, we made a lot of the map this goldish orange color. And I think we're going to try to make more of this map a goldish orange color. So, we got this whole area down here, but there's also this whole area that I never completely finished off. But I guess maybe we should wait to go to that one when we have... Uh, the ability to like break down walls and stuff. So how about we re-explore this area over here a bit more? It sounds like a good idea to me. We also have a new area down there that we haven't uh, explored yet because I saw it last time and was like, we're not doing that right now. So I'm very close to being able to upgrade one of you again. I'm not really sure what I'm going to go for. Possibly Honier, but we'll see. So I'm going to go here first and foremost. And we'll see what new stuff we can explore in this area. First of all being this room up here, which we are apparently missing something in. I'm not really sure what though. Oh, that would be, that would be what? Right there. Okay, can you not, I'm just trying to go through the store, thank you. That was the wrong door. Okay, excuse me. This door. I meant this door. Uh, this was also the wrong door. Sorry, guys. You know, just popping in, saying hello. Uh, there we are. This is where I want to go. Um, once again, need the thing uh, I don't have. Huh. Yeah, I need to find that destroy those weird walls to the side ability. And I need to find it, like, yesterday? Hmm. Alright, what about over here? Anything in here that we're... Yeah, I remember, like, a billion of you guys fell from here. Yep. Uh, okay, I can do that, and that, and that. A bluey. Alright, let me just go ahead and heal up here. Yeah, this was the place that was, like, super dark. Oh, okay, well that's... what I want, I do believe. Stagnant Blight! And, yep, that's everything in this room. Cool. So, why don't we just go ahead and skedaddle out of here and teleport to that other, uh, camp that is right here. Or not teleport to this one, but use this one to teleport to another one. It definitely does feel like we're hitting the home stretch here, which is uh, always a melancholic feeling when you're really in love with the game that you're playing. But, uh, all great things must come to an end, sadly. And we are level 71, and the level cap is 100. Okay, yeah, that also required one of these. Uh, that doesn't lead anywhere, so... Yeah, let's go into this next room over here. And kind of just, uh, keep exploring these paths more. Because, yeah, there were a lot of different paths we never ended up actually taking in here. Can you die, please? Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to die, too, friend. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, pop, pop. You're very strong, Honier. I like you quite a bit. Dead? Yeah, I don't remember what the deal was over here. But there's something in here I haven't gotten yet. I remember there being elevators. Of course. But, uh, I don't remember exactly what we need to do. Hi, friend. Ow. Ow. Took a bunch of damage there when I really didn't need to. But it's fine. So where does this take me? Just up. Okay, you know, I'm actually fine with this. There were a lot of doors here we never uh, went through. That I would like to, uh, go through now. Alright, nerd. Kablooey! Dead. Alright, this door. Did I ever go in here? Uh, nope, this is new. 
Alright, I'm down with this. Uh... Die, please? Ow. Jerk. Okay, what do you- ooh, Executioner's Gloves? Increases damage dealt while at maximum HP. Black leather gloves sheathed in magic. Dark's executioners once wore them as they performed their grim work, seeing their insignia struck fear in sinners. That's a pretty good one. It's quite easy to be at uh, full HP when we got as many heals as we do, so... Alright, that is everything in here. Alright, so that one was for a relic. That was pretty good. Let's go ahead and take this opportunity to heal. Alright, let's try to get to the top now, because there's some runes there that we, uh, haven't gotten. Yeah, you like that, nerd? Thanks for the level up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I could have timed that a little bit better, methinks, but it's fine. Yes, we can go up here now. Yes. Hello. Ow. You jerk. What did I ever do to deserve this abuse? Besides, kill quite a bunch of you, and also you're like brainless zombie people, so you really don't know what you're doing, so I really shouldn't be calling your actions into question, but, but whatever. Alright, so we want to get up here. Oh jeez, I realized you were one of them at like the last second. Ow. Huh. And kablooey! There we go. Dead. Um, hi. Luckily, you can't hit me with that. I'm just barely not in range. Ooh, a chain of sorcery. Thank you. That is always welcome. Well, that lantern's there to, I guess, protect me from the, uh, poison, but I kind of just stood in the perfect spot from the get-go and didn't really take any damage from that, so... Thank you for existing, perfect spot. I appreciate you. Ah, one of these. Yeah, we can't unlock those yet. Okay. So let's just, uh, fall down here. Ow. Go away, please. And yeah, we gotta go through this door, I believe. Well, this takes me to a camp. I guess that's where I wanna go, yeah. We can go here, and then we can, um... Yep, check out our new relics, because we got you, which costs two. I'll take that off to put you on, because you're just basically a damage increase as long as I have full health. Which is pretty good. So, then let's fast travel to here, the execution grounds. Um, we can probably go up now, too, if I had to guess. Up here. All the way to the top of the screen, because we can go off of these things now. Uh-huh. Yep. Die-die, die-die. Uh-huh. And that would lead over there. But we're not going over there. We are going over here. How dare you do a little bit of damage to me so I don't get my buff anymore, you stupid jerk. Give me HP back so I can be full health again. You assholes. Mm-hmm. There we go. That worked. Wasn't sure if it was going to or not, but sure enough it did. Okay, you're a bit annoying. Bluey. Here we are. Alright, so this is another dead-end room with another one of those guys, and a relic. Aura's ring increases spirit uses. Priestess Aura kills with a barrage of blight. It's been ages since someone has been able to awaken this ring's power. Cool. Getting all kinds of new stuff. Uh-huh. So, now let's get back down there. And, uh, see what else we can do. Bluey. Yep, and we can rest up here to heal my smidge of HP that's not there anymore. And you cost three. That could be pretty useful for me now since I'm using a uh, Honir so much. But whatever, we'll see.
Let's go see what's on the other side of this. Possibly new area? I'm expecting new area. Or... Could be a dead end, I suppose. What if the right white priestess made it out of here? Okay. So this is where I was supposed to go after that boss fight, basically. Can I climb all the way up this wall and get something special? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, I'm sad. But whatever, we can make it to the next part of the dungeon, I think, from right here. If I do this right, that is. So jump. Uh, okay, maybe not. Um, let's just time our dash here a little bit better. There we go. Cool. Ooh. Well, that's not a good thing, a dead one of us, but also it's good for me. With the Dark Executioner as an escort, they must have traced similar steps. Can't be long now. That's a more increased prayer restoration, which I'm always happy to see. The Umbral Knight saying it can't be long, ne uh, long now especially makes me uh, feel bad because the game's coming to an end. No. Say it ain't so. Uh huh. The hinterlands. Ah, uh, the surface beckons at last. Whoa, what is this stuff? There's like some some stuff coming off the the ground here. I should probably rest at this, right? Let's go ahead and take a little resty poo right here. And then let's see what's up here. Alright, what you got for me? Left side of the screen. Good things I hope. Oh, you connect back over here. Neato. Also, you have a lot of water. What's in this water? Bad things? Or good things? Nymphelia's ring hastens the healing prayer. Ooh, that, that's real good. A ring engraved with the name of Nymphelia, the White Priestess of Dawn. It is said white priestesses are born with a shining mark emblazoned on their foreheads. That's a really good relic. Makes the healing prayer faster because, yeah, that thing uh, sure does like to take its time. The old uh, healing prayer. It likes to it likes to take its sweet time, and I don't like that about it because I prefer to not die. But uh, the question becomes: What would we want to use that, or would we want to use the one that just straight up gives us more healing? I'm not sure. All right, can can we get up this way? Is is my next question. I'm gonna have to time this a little perfectly. There we go. We are scaling the side of a mountain here, so we gotta be a little bit careful. Gotta find the correct handholds and all that. Uh, okay, that doesn't quite work. Hmm. Okay, there we go, we caught it that time. Can I catch this one though? I'm starting to feel like maybe this isn't intended. Doing it this way? Maybe, just maybe? Like, maybe you're not supposed to come back up this way? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I can get the height required to actually catch that lip of the mountain, so... Yeah, I'm guessing maybe I'm supposed to fall down from up above to get there. If I had to guess. So, let's just go back over here, and we can teleport to that area, and see what, maybe what we can find. Uh, so let's go back over there. And yep, we got the new relic. How much does that one cost? Only two? Okay, I wonder how much faster it is, though. Let's take the Executioner's Gloves off and see how much faster the seal is now. Um... Oh, that is so much better. Oh, man, look at that thing. Okay, yeah, no, that's going on. Sorry, Executioner's Gloves. You were cool and all, but that is such a faster heal. Oh, wait, that is... That's just that place. 
Oh, wow. Okay, so that's actually- that actually connects back to the room that I need to be able to, um... ...destroy the wall... ...to actually get into. Interesting. Okay, let's go here, because there's a room... ...here that I may be able to access now. Yeah. Over here, that I couldn't access before, because it was like... It was like up a wall, right? And maybe there were lanterns up that wall? I can't remember if I came back this way and explored this area after getting this power or not. I don't think I did. But, who's to know? My memory is absolute garbage. So... Ah, there is a lantern, yes! You are what I wanted. Furious Blight. Cool, and we can go through here. The ruined castle, huh? Okay, well this is new. Proof of founding. King's Mage Brigade is a division led by Faden, the mo foremost expert on the Blighted, to develop a new means of fighting back. Only former members of the Coven are granted enrollment. As long as the work falls within the realm of Blighted research, there is no conduct that is considered forbidden. So they were willing to do anything to help fight the Blight, even, um, you know, like the weird ancient shit that we've seen, where they create soldiers that live forever, but have to watch all of their friends and families die around them, which is really rough, I would say. Okay, so this feels like a very important area. Oh wow, you got a tentacle shield, friend. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ow. Okay. You guys don't mess around, I get you. Ow, these guys hurt. Jeez. Okay. How about that? Uh up. Uh. Okay, that kinda worked. A little bit. God, these guys are strong. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here yet. Maybe we're not supposed to be here yet. I'm starting to think that because you're hitting very hard. Oh, cool. I can hit you from up here. Eat it, nerd. Yeah, these guys hit super duper hard. I can't help but notice. Uh, so I'm a bit spooks. Spooked by them. Uh. Ugh. Uh, okay. Okay. Boom. Huh? Okay, don't die, don't die, don't die. Ow! Must you? Oh, that was close. We almost died, but we got it. The Royal Aegis Crest. Crest of an elite knight who defended the king. Even after the rain drove him to kill indiscriminately, the Royal Aegis never forgot his duty. Oh boy. So, even when he was, like, a blighted monster, he still defended the king? That is, uh, nice. Okay, what's down? Because... I don't think I went down, did I? I mean, I'm probably gonna die to whatever is down, but... Uh... Ah, oh, come on! All because the door's gonna close right behind me? There's just... a lot of you, and I'm never not gonna die, I feel. Ugh. Ugh. Well, if I manage to live, damn it, there were heals right there. If I had managed to live. Oh boy, we're really blighted, yeah. Yeah, we look like these characters. Now. We have like these... red tentacles coming out of us now. God. It's actually super nuts, and I like, uh... I like that level of, uh, detail being shown here. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're firing your little bullets at me, and it's kind of annoying. 
if I'm going to be honest. Oh god. Ugh. Eel. Okay, you almost got me with that. I'll be honest. Nope. Okay. Kablooey. Kablooey. There we go. Olves, uh special is a lot more useful against these guys than uh, that other one was. I mean, it's not bad either, but... Uh-huh. Yeah, but you can kind of see the same tentacles that are coming out of us now, coming out of this guy's helmet. Which, uh, I think is very cool. Some neat design there. Oh, thank you. Alright. Big heals for big damages that have been taken. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Fudged inputs all around. Ow. That clipped me. Kablooey! Okay, you're dead. That's good. Nope. Uh-huh. Kablooey, that failed. De gotcha, though. You dead. Alright, so... Here's an elevator, so we can get up and down faster. Nice, nice. Thank you for that. Oh! Wait, how do I... How do I get to you, friend? Or does this just... Oh, this just straight up leads to a new area. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we opened these doors now, so now we can go through here. Still not sure if I'm supposed to be here yet or not. Those, uh, night enemies feel a little strong, but... I mean, I have plenty of other areas to explore if I decide that this area is too nuts for me. No, you don't. God, that's just a ludicrous attack. That's just a ludicrous attack. I'm sorry. That thing just does so much. Not that I'm complaining, I mean, I, I love how much damage it does, but god, it just absolutely annihilates anything it touches, it does. Got you. Uh-huh, and that we need to be able to fall down to break. Got some of you. There's some more stagnant blight for us. Hmm. Maybe we are supposed to be here now. I don't know. There's a note to read here that I need to work on reading. Gotcha. Cool. Ooh, you have like a giant mace. I really like that, friend. I really like your giant mace. That attack that took you forever to charge up was not as scary as I thought it was going to be, though. King of the First Ages Diary 1. I do not foresee our arrival on this new continent being welcomed warmly with open arms. There's sure to be much bloodshed, and though I am prepared to do what I must for my people, I cannot stop trembling. I will keep a record of what follows. I must never forget the battle that is to come. So you guys moved to this continent, and you were like, yeah, the locals probably aren't going to like us here. Which makes sense. Um... You know, invading a new area uh, usually isn't welcomed very warmly. Yeah, you guys are neat, but boy are you easy to murder. Alright, so that's that taken care of. What do we got over here? Oh, crazy centaur. Okay. Okay, you're actually pretty nuts. And you hurt a lot. Okay, good to know, good to know. Crazy centaurs that do a bunch of damage. That's added to the list of things I gotta take care of now. All right. Can't go that way, not yet. Oh wait. Okay, well that's one set of them done. Okay, well what happens if we fall down here? Oh! 
One of those things is what happens. Alright. Ow. That was my bad. Ow. Well, thanks for giving me that heal. I really needed it, actually. You like that hone your damage? Kablooey. Dead. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to Elena now. Yep, it's good stuff. Hi, friend. Okay, you're the much more dangerous mobile version of uh, the Shield Knights that I do not like. Uh, come here, you. Gotcha. Okay. What else is going on in this room? Because there's... There's other stuff. Uh-huh. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Ah. Okay, let's just, uh, heal. Oof, that faster heals is saving my life. 100% saving my life. That faster heal. <laughs> Ooh, an amulet fragment. Thank you for that. Alright, is that everything? Nope, that's not everything of interest that's in here. We still do have more to find, which makes sense because this is quite a large room. Uh-huh. You would just go ahead and die for me, you weird eyeball monstrosity. That would be just dandy. Nope. Not happening. Okay, I wonder what's down there. That seems like it might just fall into the new area, right? Uh-huh. Alright, big guy. Uh, well that's not ideal. Um... Okay, you're just gonna, like, ledge guard me? What is this, man? Smash? Come on. Out of here. Alright, I'm out. If you wanna- if you wanna play like that, I'm out. Couldn't even get back up on the platform, man. I- I should point out I don't have a problem with ledge guarding. It's a part of the game. But when it's done in this game? Hey, screw you, man. This ain't Smash. Get out of here with that shit. Uh-huh. Yep, you like that? Better keep that shield up, friend. You take the time to swing that sword, I'm gonna take the time to fill you full of throwing knives. Boom. Alright, so... Uh, okay, so maybe you're the final thing? I caught that just at the last second. Okay, cool. That is it. So now we can safely fall down here, which is already a completed room, surprisingly. Uh-uh. No, you don't. Uh, huh. Dead. Uh, okay. H how many of you are there exactly? I need numbers. Because there seems like there's like a bajillion of you. Okay, you go down, it looks like. Which leads to even more, surprisingly. God, you turn so quickly, man. Have I ever told you that? Ah! This is the wrong direction for my super. Whew. We're hurting. We are hurting. Oh, I saw that. I want that. Oh no, but I can't get back up there, at least not this way. Yep. Alright, well I'm gonna leave you to it, dude, because you'll probably kill me if I try to fight you right now. Oh, speaking of going to kill me if I try to fight them right now... Huh! 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 Did I? Ah! God, those centaurs are crazy. I had my sorceress out, but she didn't, uh, she didn't catch the enemy fast enough. Okay, well this feels like the next zone. I'm not positive if it actually is or not, but it certainly feels like it is. Um... Uh, yes, hello. I would like to get through here, please. Uh-uh. 
Nope. Oh god. That's big damage. Dead. Woo. Thank you, Honor, for saving the day. Uh, this is just this dumb room I've already done. At least I'm gonna get some free heals out of this. Well, not free, because it is gonna cost me some resources, but... You know what I mean. Alright. So I never did find, uh... Everything in here, huh? What else was hiding out in here? This is the one we've already done. Uh-huh. Deadzo. Good ol' good ol' Honir. Got my back. Boom boom. God, I love how swift the attacks are with uh Ulv. It's great, man. Oh yeah, this place. I'm like yeah, this place over here. I was like, how do I access that? Is it... Hmm. Hmm. How do I get to you? This is a good question. Hmm. Thought there would maybe be a secret thing, like, above me here. But that doesn't seem to be the case. How do I get to you, friend? Cuz... Hmm. The only thing I can think of is like going up and then down, but it doesn't say that this room connects there. Uh, I don't suppose... No. I thought maybe if the thing was here, I could just walk through this wall. Yeah. Hmm. There's no real hints given to me by looking there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is there like a hidden wall here or something? Yeah, and this just leads out, right? Like back out here? Yeah. yeah and this doesn't work. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm stumped on that one, I think. I think I'm stumped on that one. Is there, like, a secret down here? No. Okay, we may not know how to get that one. Like, at all. It's probably a secret path that we can take somewhere. I'm just not really seeing it. I don't want to walk into that room because I will get stuck. That leads to the next area. Hmm. Yeah, this is this area. There's nothing up here. No. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know that with that room. But let's check this place out. The place with all the mages. Because we never did go to uh, the right over here. Uh huh. Okay, that attack can be a little scary. I find it hilarious that you have a giant mace, but you don't actually swing it. You just use it to cast magic. Ooh, you look like a badass, though. Oh, you're just... You're just the same guy. Oh, okay. So you do actually use the mace as a weapon sometimes. Boom. Eat it, nerd. You give me a frankly absurd amount of time to just kind of sit there and wail on you, so it's... No wonder you lose, really. Uh, hi. Knocked you right out of that. It's gonna break that stamina bar. Best way to deal with you. Best way to deal with you is just to murder you super quickly like that. Ah, uh, we can't get there. I don't have that ability yet. Maybe this is where I get the ability to open those doors, because... Kinda what I'm thinking of is I get, like, a king's seal or something, and that allows me to open them. Oh god. Um... And if that's the case, then it would explain we got, like, the king's seal... ...or something, uh, in this area. Alright, you- you just gonna... 
Can you stop charging that? Thank you. I want to get this uh, thing over here. The Ancients have put up a fierce fight. Although our army outnumbers their own, they command a force of immortal warriors born of an some ancient art. The these Deathless Ones, who have already forfeit their mortal coils, cannot be killed. Seems they can only be contained through magical means. Ten days have passed since this battle began, and there is no end in sight. Yeah, so you're the invading force that was uh, actually fighting the Ancients here. Like our Umbral Knight friend. Uh, you die, please? Well, yep, you did a good job of doing that. Um, all right, you're just gonna be annoying, aren't you? So I'm gonna be annoying right back. Enjoy. What is up here? A chain of sorcery. We're getting a lot of those, and I like it. Okay, we're good. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, you know what? Maybe that's not the best thing to have on, uh, now. Right now! The bluey! Uh, I'm just gonna leave you to it, man. You have a good time. Alright, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh god, and you're just gonna... Murder me. I would like to find another heal spot. Please. I'm in pain. Terrible, terrible pain. <sighs> okay, we're good. Uh, okay, okay, guys. Guys, if you could just... If you could just not, that would be fantastic. Let me tell you how fantastic that would be if you guys could just not. Because, um... I'm feeling like I'm pretty close to a checkpoint if you guys could just stop killing me for j just a little bit. Like, you don't even have to completely stop killing me just for a few seconds. This is not what I was hoping it was. Ow. Okay, maybe down here and then... Uh, uh. Uh-huh. Oh! Seriously, that thing jumped way further than I thought it was going to, the little bastard. Hmm. Hmm. Herm. <sighs> I mean, I don't I don't know what else to do, but continue. Uh it's kind of a pain in the ass that we have to do these rooms over sometimes. Hmm. Yeah, the only other thing I was thinking is I could, like, reveal that there's a door here or something. But there's no way for me to do that. Oh, cool, this guy... That kind of destroys you guys, actually, if I can get it off. Unfortunately, there's not a very good way to get it off consistently. It kind of, uh... Goes through their shield... A lot. Ow. I really wish I would stop stepping in these wrong areas. I don't know why I keep doing it. Damn you, contact damage! Uh-huh. Boom. There we go. Oh, boy. Alright, so get me through here. Alright. Boom. Boom. And yeah, I want to get over here and then up, maybe? Or, no. I, I wanted to go down last time. This is where we were at last time, yeah. Let's just explore this area a bit more, why don't we? Alright, I'm... I'm gonna ignore you guys for now, just because I want to find this next checkpoint so I don't have to keep going through all of these rooms over and over and over. So for just a bit here, I'm going to ignore you guys. Uh, hi. We haven't had... have we had a note about these weird centaur dudes yet? I don't know if we have. 
Okay, and this is the area that connects back over here. Mm hmm Sorry, I was checking out the map during the fighting. Probably not the smartest thing to do, but uh, it's what I chose to do. Priestesses, though? Increase the maximum number of uses for your, the healing prayer by one. Okay, another one of those relics that just give me more heals. If I want and or need them. So... Is this where I'm thinking this is? Oh, hi. Oh. Wait, why are you not attacking me? Oh, no, I'm so sorry I hit you. I'm so sorry, puppy. You're cool. Hey. Oh, you do do contact damage to me, though. I don't want to kill you, but I can't leave the screen now. I can't leave the screen now, puppy. You, you're not mean to me. You don't want to kill me. <sighs> Rest in peace, little pupper. Guess you, maybe you wanted to die. It is most gracious. Oh, Lily. Oh, it is most gracious. I hate that. Spirit Castletown Maiden. Summons the spirit of the Castletown Maiden who strikes enemies she finds on the ground when melee attacks. The maiden was tending to her dog when the rain came. The dog nuzzled up against her body in the rain, never again to leave her side. Oh, and you like fused with your dog. Oh boy, that's dark. That's, uh, that's real dark. No way. I'm in no mood after having to murder the goodest of boys or girls. It was a girl because it was a maiden, so. Oh, that makes me sad. That makes me real sad. Alright, so this is the wall, right? Where there was like a thing on the other side of it that I couldn't access or whatever? Yeah. But now I can climb to the top. And yeah, we can get over. Okay, so this is just like a shortcut to this area. This was another way I could have gotten over here, too, actually. Besides uh, just that other way I went. So, yeah, let's go see what we can do. Oh, wow. See, the time flies when I'm playing this game. We're already at 43 minutes on the recording. And I, ha I it felt like 20 or 30 minutes at most. But no, we're very, very far into the recording. I think I actually have to fall down from above to get that. Um, ooh, I want that. Get me out of here. Going so fast, my heel couldn't even keep up with me. All right, let's try dropping down. Wasn't there a down option over here? There was. And did I... Ah, yeah, there was this thing that I wanted to, but I... Okay, let's just drop. I want to see... Yes, this is... Okay, this is what I wanted. Oh my gosh. You know how hard I've been looking for you? Um... Okay, there's not much in this room. Let's just grab this. This is probably what we need to complete the area here. Apart from a verboten mage, we have learned that under certain conditions, the regenerative rot in the bodies of the blighted is capable of fusing multiple life forms into one entity. Yeah, we've seen that in other notes. It's mentioned that things that, like, kind of die together kind of become an, a, a mass. Like, um, the, the big, like, giant thing that I got that does, like, a big ground pound attack, that spirit, it was like a farmer that had fused with his, uh, his, uh, livestock. I'm curious as to what becomes of the multiple souls within the fused body. Do the souls merge as well? With this, it may be very well be possible to create a soldier that can fly like a bird. The possibilities are endless. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys were creating the these things on purpose. You were purposely doing this to create, like, weird chimera um, soldiers. Which is really messed up. I like the idea of you. Um, let's try putting you on. See what you're like. Oh, you're like... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so you're like... You're like the uh, merchant, except you don't fly. Interesting. Okay, well, you're more of a boss fight thing. Oh, we could have... Oh, boy, that could be neat. 
we could have, um, like two ads, basically. We could have the bird and you on that, like, set. Interesting. That would be... That would be very interesting. Okay. Well, we'll put that on there. But, uh, New Relic? Yeah, the Royal Aegis Crest. And then, yeah, these two things. That increased the max number of healing prayer uses that we have. And increases the potency, extra damage in water. I mean, I only have one space, so sure, soiled prayer beads. All right, and with that, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>